Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Team Walters. Richard here. So, last week we went over uh, ICE, emergency contact, in, in case of emergency, contacts, the call on the phone. We've gone over change the clock, change the battery. We've gone two, one way in, two ways out, close before you do. So, we're coming up on the holiday season, so we're going to try and tie all these videos in. So, the first thing we're going to go over is extension cord, using the proper extension cord for Christmas decorations and stuff like that. We're going to do one on not on cooking per se but safety and cooking uh deep frying a chicken and stuff like that so we're going to do that we're going to tie that in i'm looking for a video to put on there it's a really crazy video to watch that but we'll put that on but we're going to go ahead we're going to go into a box store we're going to look at extension cords i looked at mine downstairs uh, didn't have anything with the apple actual labels on it and stuff so we're going to go in here go down the electrical iron and, and go over some electrical cords real quick so stand by Hey everyone, so we came inside, so we're inside, we're going to get a close up, so we're basically just going to show you real quick, they, they put pictures on everything, now, but we're going to go over that, so you can see there's medium duty cord weather, and then they have the extension cords, they give you pictures, we're going to go over that real quick, we'll come over here, uh, with extension cords, yes, we're going to watch, mm. so you know what, so 16 gauge, 13 amp, that means when you plug it in a wall at the end of it, it's going to give you 13 amp. The, uh, the higher the number, the smaller the wire. The lower the number, the bigger the wire. That's what the gauge means right there. So, that's what we do. So, as you can see, the difference is, that was a, whatever gauge that was. So this is an indoor, it says right on the indoor. So you just want to use this indoor for temporary. It's 16 gauge, 15 feet, puts out 13 amps at the end. Compared to, this is this is for an air conditioner gauge. Is, um, where's the gauge on? It's a 12 gauge, 12 gauge wire, puts out 20 amps at the end. So it can handle a lot more voltage, that's why it's for AC air conditioning. So, you can see the difference, but whenever you look for, extension cords if you're putting lights outside or whatever for the holidays you it's an outdoor cord it's 25 feet long it's a 14 gauge wire it's 15 amps and you can feel the difference it has more insulation on it from being outdoors and they give you a little pictures they can run a saw or a pressure washer outside that's the amperage because you depending on what appliance you use you need a certain amount of amperage to the appliance for it to work correctly so that's what they're showing you at the end of this. It's good, at the end of the outlet, once you plug it in, it's going to give you 15 amps out here. So, same thing with this. This is an indoor cord, right? For a three outlet, it's 16 gauge. At the end, it will give you 13 amps at these. But this is made for indoors. You don't want to use indoors for outdoors. Okay, so we're back. Sorry, we're shooting live, sort of live. So, this is this is one of the brown wires. Everybody uses those. There's these little cheapos. You can get them at Dollar General, and like they're really really cheap. You just got to watch these things because they're only 16 gauge, which is a small wire and 13 amp at the end. A lot of people overload these. They, they use them for every little thing and put, you know, whatever on them. And then they load them up and you'll see a bunch of, bunch of stuff coming out of this. Remember, it's only 16 gauge. That's a small wire. It's only 13 amps. People are drawing too much on it. Can't tell you how many fires I've been on these little things with a culprit. So we got those. There's another light duty outdoor one. That's good for a blower or a spotlight. Okay, so that's 14 feet. Where's the gauges on that? Oh, there it is. 16 gauge, 13 amps. So, but it's definitely for outdoors. It's lightweight. So, somebody asked me about this. They asked me about these Christmas things. Whenever I'm in doubt, I always look on the back. I see if it's UL listed and it's been tested. So, you know, if it's been UL tested, this is for light duty, like putting out the, the Christmas tree lights and stuff like that you get one of these uh, but you want to make sure it's UL tested it's 125 volts 10 amps uh, it's 16 gauge does it say 16 gauge I don't know what that means right there we'll have to look that up we'll find out in a minute we'll get back to you on that so but yeah I just look look for you out of so we'll put that somebody's gonna ask me if I'm gonna put all this stuff back yes I'm not that kind of shopper I don't do that so, but then I come across one of these for a four outlet box, 14 gauge, three conductors, eight foot cord, okay? And it, it has an automatic built-in in it. It has a um, built-in circuit breaker. So if anything happens, it's gonna pop that. 
So, but like I said, it's UL listed, right? So if I'm going to put stuff outside or do long term, like at Christmas lights, they're, they're short term, they're, you know, they're just temporary lighting. So we got that. Yeah, I know. I'm going to put it on. I promise. So, man, this US attached GFICI plug, right? So we have, we've seen that too. So you can hook that up when you're like working outside and you're afraid to get shocked coming back. It will, it, will, it will cut it off there. So you can use that. Is that you all listed? Yeah, it's you all listed. So that's what I look for. That's why I, I, look for. I am no electrician. I know if you touch it when it's hot, you get that little funny taste in your mouth, and I don't like that. <laughs> so, but one of the biggest things I push is using these surge protectors at home. If, you, if you're putting up decorations and you're doing stuff at home, it's a one switch. You shut everything off. The surge protects. I use it on my computers at home. Everything goes in through a surge protector, my TV and everything. So if anything happens, a surge comes in, it pops this and not doesn't go through my TV. So I always use these. Make sure they're UL listed. This one I didn't see a UL on it. It's this company right here. But this is what I use. I buy the good ones in these, not the cheapos. Buy the very best I can in these. So uh, like I said, we just quickly went over that. Whenever you're doing it now, heck, they even put pictures up and show you where things run. So it's real easy to do. If you're using stuff outside, make sure you get an outside extension cord. If you're using um, computers and stuff inside, make sure you spurge and get a good surge protector to protect your assets or your computer and stuff like that. Hope you enjoy the, uh, the video. Till next time, have a great day. Oh, and if you liked it, hit subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. To let somebody know what we're doing. Um, what else we're we gonna do? We're gonna do next week. We're gonna do something with a with safety in the kitchen. With with the holidays coming up, we got Thanksgiving, we got Christmas. Uh, Till next time, everybody have a fantastic day.